I have a very trustworthy friend who once saw a Sasquatch at night crossing the road. Luckily, there was a sign like this, and the top of the figure's head came up just to the middle of it. He later measured that spot at 9 feet 6 inches. Eyewitness reports are filled with episodes in which a tree limb that the Sasquatch has stood or walked beside has made it possible to estimate the height, and quite often this falls in the 9 to 10 foot range. Now let's try to envision this. First of all, what's one foot? It can seem so insignificant, but when we go to scale it up, we quickly see what we're dealing with. This is one foot. Charles Barkley standing beside seven foot six inch minute bowl, whose body was rail thin. Now let's add bulk to the picture. This is 18 inches worth of vertical distance. Shaquille O'Neal beside five foot seven inch Earl Boykins. Yet a large male Sasquatch in the range we're considering here would tower over Shaq in terms of both height and bulk, a great deal more than Shaq towers over Boykins. We're talking greater than two feet above Shaq, not a mere 18 inches. So what's two feet look like? This is two feet. Minute bowl beside five foot six inch spud web. And now take on board the fact that the large male Sasquatch is not two feet taller than the average human being. He is more than three and a half feet taller. Here is Robert Wadlow, the largest human being on record. At eight foot 11 inches, he was as much taller than Minute Bowl as Shaq is taller than Earl Boykins. Here he is standing beside his father, who at five feet 11 inches was taller than the average man in the United States today. Yet the male Sasquatch we're attempting to envision stands as much taller than Wadlow as Yao Ming stands taller than Shaq, or if basketball is not your thing, as much taller as Liam Hemsworth is than wife Miley Cyrus. At 7'6", Minute Bowl could touch the rim standing flat-footed. Now let's imagine another young man taking the court. 